Okay, Lauren, thanks very much. 603 right now. Closing arguments are set to begin this morning in the competency phase of the trial of the man who killed five people at the Capitol Gazette newspaper. Gerald Fishman, Rob Hyacin, John McNamara, Wendy Winters, and Rebecca Smith all died in that shooting back in June of 2018. We have WMRT News' Megan Knight outside the courthouse there in Annapolis with a recap of what happened on Megan. What was the last day of actual testimony? Yeah, Christian, and on this last day of testimony, we heard from the state's key witness, a forensic psychiatrist who says that he believes the defendant, Gerard Ramos, is criminally responsible for murdering those five employees at the Capitol Gazette back in 2018, regardless of his mental health diagnosis. Now, uh, with this competency trial, the defense must prove at least one of two parts that come with this plea for the jury to find the defendant not criminally responsible. So one part of the plea is that he did not appreciate the criminality of his actions. And the second part is that he could not conform his conduct to the requirements of the law, or basically he could not help his behavior. Dr. Samir Patel, who works for the state health department, laid out about 20 reasons to the jury yesterday as to why he thinks the gunman does not fit any of that criteria. Dr. Patel pointed to the planning and researching of the shooting, the defendant's actions after the shooting happened, and how the gunman did follow the law during his probation for his criminal harassment case back in 2011. And the state and defense have debated fiercely over their interpretations of appreciating the criminality of these actions, something the jury is going to have to decide for themselves but legal experts say regardless of the verdict, the gunman will be in some form of incarceration after this is all over. The question is, will it be a, uh, a hospital that is operated uh, in which he cannot leave, which looks awful lot like a prison in many ways, but he has provided certain uh, health services, or if he will just be in a prison where he also hopefully will receive some small amount of services, but regardless, this is someone who will not have the freedom to walk the streets. And which way that goes, of course, will all depend on what the jury decides. So again, closing arguments are set to start this morning, and then the jury will be given the case for deliberations, which could happen as early as today. We're live in Annapolis. I'm Megan Knight, WMAR 2 News.